Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and today I'm back with another video. I have with me here another guest from the Ghana Tech YouTuber store and his name is Ishmael Lamte. He's also a tech YouTuber. I'll allow him to introduce himself and then today we are going to talk about freelance tips, how to start up as a freelancer in Ghana. So Ishmael, welcome to the channel. Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. So, as you said, uh, my name is Eshma Lamte and I make um, YouTube videos. I talk, basically talk about technology, so okay. news, make reviews of products and so on. So that's basically what I do. Yeah. Alright, so a link to his channel also will be in the description as we do it. So it's very yeah. important to you are supposed sure. to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and then you have, head over to the description and then you subscribe to his channel also. So today we are gradually talking about freelancing. Basically, if you are new to freelance, a freelancer is offering services to people not on the long-term contract basis. So somebody will contact you if you are a graphic designer, a web designer like Ishmael or a makeup artist. Somebody might contact you on any of the sites or even on Instagram, social media that you do a job for him and then the person pays you. How do you start up as a starter? Here we are talking about 10 tips and then I'll be reading the tips out. We have it here. Since Ishmael is a pro in this area, he will help me to explain things to you, what you need to know, and then we get over to it. So tip number one is you have to start with a passion. Ishmael, um, starting with a passion. Yeah. So it is whatever you are looking for it to start, it is very important for you to have some kind of passion towards that particular thing. Trust me, if you don't love whatever you do, it will be very difficult for you to drive in there. So the first thing which you have to be able to develop is to try as much as possible to develop some kind of passion, some kind of love towards whatever you want to do. And then from there, you'll be able to you know build up from there. Exactly. So freelance can be very, very, very hectic, especially yeah. when somebody contacts you to do something and then you give the person the chance to review the thing it can come again and again and again yeah so if you don't love exactly what you're doing yeah as time goes on you are obviously going to get fed up yeah and then you might be tempted to even insult the <laughs> client so even, and even starting when starting when you you want to learn a particular skill or you don't have a passion towards that particular mm -hmm. skill it becomes very difficult for you to be able to learn exactly. it and be able to do whatever you want to do in there so passion is very important exactly so there we go with passion number two we're going to talk about develop and master a software at a time yeah so that comes in when you are looking at whatever you are looking at doing has to do with maybe a software so maybe because we are in the tech space i'm a web yeah. designer he's a graphic designer sure. so then we are looking at using tools but if yours doesn't fall within looking at using a tool like one way along the road you definitely will come across using some tools to help you whatever you want to do okay. but if it's your, your work and doesn't solely based on tools you could probably look at learning so just like i was saying learning a skill which is going to be able to you know help you out in doing that and then if you are looking at using a tool so then there are lots of tons of tools out there you it is up to you for you to be able to identify which out uh, which of the tools out there works out best for you and by doing so you have to also try as much as possible to learn and understand that tool very well so that once you begin working with it it doesn't become difficult for you because there are instances where you get all sort of work you are supposed to do and if you don't know your tool very well it becomes difficult for you to go about that so know your tool very very well so the key word here is you master your tool yeah so you can basically be learning different tools aside the main tool that you're using. Yeah. For instance, my master tool is Photoshop, obviously. But then aside Photoshop, I know a couple of tips, Illustrator, a bit of Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and other stuff. But my main tool is Photoshop. Yeah. So you have to master the tool that you're going to use. All right, so moving on at number three, we have start building your portfolio. So portfolio is very very important if you very find necessary. yourself as a freelancer sure. why because when you start once you're able to develop a skill and you're looking at working for people mm -hmm. trust me whoever you come in contact with would want to see some of the things you've done before sure. so it is very important for you to build portfolio now you ask how do you build a portfolio you just learned a skill 
and um, you are looking at being able to do something with it. So these are some of the things I have done in the past and it has worked out very well for me. So mm -hmm. you one one of the things you do is you shouldn't always be looking at money when you are starting. Okay. You can sometimes design, or if it is design, you can sometimes design for people for free or for mm -hmm. just something little. And then once you're able to do that, people get to see, oh, so you're actually good with this. If you get a client who wants to see some of the things you've done, because you've done some of these jobs in the past, you get to show to them and then they say, like, oh, okay, these are some of the things you've done. And then they get to know some of the things you are capable of doing. So it's very important at the initial stage, you shouldn't be looking so much about money. And then also social media. Now, we are almost like almost everybody's on social media almost today. Everybody. How do you um, use leverage on social media to be able to promote yourself? So some of the designs you've done, you put on Instagram, you put on Facebook, Twitter, and the rest. So you, you know, give some small information about them and the rest, and then people see it and like, oh, okay, this guy can actually do that. So you should try as much as possible to also use social media to you know um, to your benefit to be able to exactly to build your portfolio. And then I think there are a couple of. Um, tools or sites out there that you get to that's for designers and then depending on what particular field you find yourself sure. you get to put something there even youtube you know youtube is actually a very powerful tool in the sense that you get to make video about whatever you've done people sure. get to see it and then they get to know some of the things you are capable of doing so just like you make you uh, tutorials yes. for a channel mm -hmm. i also make tutorials for my channel sure. and these has helped very very well so these are various ways you can build your portfolio among others all right so um most of the pros are like ourselves will tell you to get a website but then if you are starting as a beginner you don't website. necessarily need yeah, a website. website instagram is a very good way yeah. to start up if you are looking out for something for a portfolio so you just have to make sure that your social medias are very clean you don't put just anything there yeah some people will just put anything there in case somebody visit you and want to contact or uh, contract you on some Thing or you want the person wants you to make something for him you go through your stuff and then if the things are not attractive the person is not coming for yeah. you so make sure and the social media is clean. something in there now okay. when you are building your social media profile mm -hmm. it is very important to have in mind that whatever profile you are building is for your professional world exactly. or it's for the exactly. professional world because sure. there is there's there was this instance where I was looking forward to work with a video editor and then um, I asked him for his um, social media so instagram okay. and then i went to check and on his profile he has sex something like i was like yeah come on you can't you know you're looking at working professional. a professional so yes. then you can't play around with those kind of things you should have something different for your yeah, friends and exactly. exactly and then something you know professional for the work you, you do and then one last thing has to do with trading your skill for something in the sense that um, initially, I was looking at starting a particular project where I was going to be using restaurants in Ghana. Okay. But I don't have the funds to be able to pay for a space over there. So this is what I was doing. I was looking at doing, going to do. And I've had friends who have tried it. Okay. I talk, I talk to the um, restaurant. Okay, so this is what I do. Mm -hmm. I can make a video of your place for you. I get to use your uh, place for whatever place. I want to. Now, once I do the video, it becomes part of my portfolio because sure. at the end of the day, you get to publish those videos you made if it is videos even if it is designs. sort of adverts exactly and then people see that you've been able to actually work for some of these company mm -hmm. company you probably might have not charged anything yeah. doing that but having a company like maybe you know some of these five stars hotels in ghana and the rest exactly. you know because you traded you know your skill for something, for something you you end up building a portfolio out of that so that's also one way you can look at and build a portfolio for yourself yeah sure I hope this one is you are gaining a lot from this one let us know in the comment section any other thing that you think would be very beneficial yeah. for startups so we are moving on to number four and we are moving real quick learn to assist or work for others i think we have we've talked a bit about this so it is going to be very brief on this one so you learn to assist mm -hmm. or you work for others yeah. not solely for free yeah. but then assisting or helping others in working yeah so um before you get to the top along the way you definitely have to work 
for people you have mm. to work with people you shouldn't be in a rush to get to the top you have sure. to allow yourself to learn through the process so then you have to work with people even if it's an internship you offer your service exactly. internship you probably may not get paid but maybe you but get something but sure, sure. during that process you also get to build yourself you get to learn some of the things which are done in the corporate world or in the professional world so at the end of the day when you are fully looking at um, going maybe full with Full-time. whatever you are doing you can you know learn from some of these things that you've you know learned in the past to be able to help you with that okay i'm sharing this i actually got my first freelance client as a result of a work that i did for an old friend a very long time ago yeah. that was my first client that i got so it means working for some people it hasn't it doesn't always have to be money yeah you don't always have to leave that money yeah. sometimes you have to assist friends just like i came all the way over to see each mail over here it creates bigger connections for yeah, you yeah so number five we are talking about creating content and each mail has talked a lot about this one already so i think it's going to be a very brief one creating content whether it's on facebook or any other social media so creating content one of the things you have to try as much as possible to do is to make videos for whatever you do now videos you can tell a lot of things through videos as compared to just a picture so then exactly so if yeah maybe if you're um, a makeup artist Mm -hmm. and then you have some short videos or some of the maybe yeah how you go about your makeup work and the rest people see it they learn from it they get to trust you because they know you actually um, you know you you are professional within that particular area so then you you can do more so that's one way you can go about creating content yeah Yeah. Uh, actually um i quite i once read an article and then it was like people who purchase things through videos are way higher than people who yeah. just read yeah. sometimes you go to an online shop you read about the product but that wouldn't even trigger you yeah. to buy but then when you watch how many people, people even read today exactly we, we actually very, very when it comes to reading we are all lazy because you exactly yeah, that's you read, but when you watch a video you see whatever you want to see then you actually have the desire to go in for whatever it was in a video so any space that you are you can create content yeah right? youtube is, is free yeah. any of the social medias is free so you have to leverage that yeah. we are moving on to number six and then it says network in person so networking is very 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 important. necessary so just this past today i actually went for this um, design experience um you know or some kind of um should i say events event okay. that brought together a lot of creatives and then through there i was able to meet other people now what this does for you is that you people get to know you people get to see whatever you are doing now they can call on you whenever there's something within your space that you are doing for you to work on for them so these are these are you know some of the things you get to benefit when it comes to networking okay. so you should see people talk to people meet people yeah exactly so i met ishmael online we've been talking for a couple of yeah. months but then i had to travel all the way about eight hours down here to meet him in person is it it is very simple for somebody to recommend you when the yeah. person are meeting in person yeah. than to recommend you when you are chatting only yeah. on social media yeah. so leverage that one also number seven real quick attend conferences and events so just like i was saying yes true that i was able to meet a couple of people i was able to learn so many things that i knew some some i didn't know so that those are some of the things you get to benefit when you uh, you attend conferences, conferences and the rest yeah all right so let's move on to number eight then participate in online sections especially when it involves question and answer so let me use Cora for example Cora is a very big space for you to share your knowledge with um what or what others are really asking okay yeah. so when people get to know that you have an idea of what they are asking the probability that they come to you for more insights yeah. is very high so you can even leverage that when people come to me that hey innocent can you show us how to make this you can even use the content that you are creating to direct yeah. them to your site <laughs> so it is very important for you to participate when you are in groups and on other platforms exactly so just like you're saying i happen to belong to a couple of forums where i got i get to contribute to those forums by sharing my 
knowledge and this has actually led me in gaining clients for myself in the sense that just like you're saying people come to ask for more and sometimes based on some of the questions some of these people are asking i get to make tutorials out of them they get to learn i also get to make video courses i get to create video courses sure. out of some of this information people are looking for it too so it is very good for you to try as much as possible to you know belong in forums if you happen to do something which is maybe design if not necessarily design because Cora doesn't it's not just yeah it's not design. about design so we are just basically that. using our fields to exactly. explain things yeah so, so it doesn't matter yeah. the field that you are in so let's talk about number nine narrow your niche narrowing your niche is very very important obviously if you are starting you might be tempted to try all sort of things that Jack, one everyone has Jack, done it Jack, before Jack of all trades Jack of all trades you have to try almost all of them but as you improve and you move on you have to try and narrow your niche in the graphic design field you can't do all of them at most if you focus on two or three of them that would be better for you than trying to the do most almost everything. all of them yeah so just like you're saying it is very important for you to master one thing as compared to trying to get almost everything when you master one thing you become a professional within that particular space you get to know more about that particular field and it helps you um, go about whatever you do you know you get it so it's very important to master and like, develop your niche to more, um, towards one particular thing as compared to trying to learn almost, almost everything. everything yeah sure so the last tip for you i hope you've enjoyed so much on this episode but the last thing for you is to provide value i believe this would have come a very long way but i just wanted to put it to the last thing because it's very very important yeah. you have to provide value in as much as you're looking at making money out of everything that you're doing look forward to providing value because that is the greatest thing of all you can make about two thousand three thousand cities from a project or say even five thousand yeah. but what are the chances that a customer is likely to come back yeah. or recommend you to another person so you have to look at that each will talk more on that so providing value is very very important in a sense that you don't always have to look at the money aspect of Expected. whatever you are doing it is always important to satisfy your customer first. So you put your customer first. Yes. You try as much as possible to understand whatever they want. You try your possible best to be able to work towards whatever they want. Once they are satisfied, just like you say, you were saying, they are going to bring you more work. They are going to recommend you to other people. And then sure. it goes on and on and on. So money shouldn't be a priority. Try your possible best to satisfy the customer. It's going to help you a lot. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know in the comment section what you think about this. Would you want to be seeing more of this? Would you want to be seeing more tips and tricks videos like this one? And would you want to be seeing more from Ishmael? Then head over to his channel because yeah. he's got some great content over there. A lot more of this will be coming up on the channel. Final words. So, um, it is very important to develop a skill by learning something sure. it is very important to create something that you're happy about if you have some kind of passion towards and it's very important to always put your customer first and whatever sure. you do and try and up your possible best sometimes don't look up the money aspects by being able to work for free so just like you're saying try a possible best to check out my uh, my youtube channel which is ishmael lamte a couple of um, tech stuff in there yeah. so that's just about it i look forward to see you there all right so we we'll see you guys in the next episode